there, YouTube. What's going on? It's me, Club Thumb Gaming, back here again for another YouTube video. So today I'm going to show you how to mod Borderlands 2 save files on the Mac. So what you're going to need is some is a program called Border Tool 2, and the link for this download will be in the description below. But you're just going to want to download it and install it, and just do whatever the installer says. And trust me, it's not a virus. It's Max can't get viruses. It's been scientifically proven. Anyhow, so when you open up Border Tool, it won't have anything on the screen. What you're going to want to do is go to File, Open, then this will pop up. Hit Shift, Shift, Command, G, and then type this in. I'll also have this in the description below if you just want to copy and paste it in, and hit Go. Then look for the Borderlands 2 folder, then go to Willow Game. Save data seven six five six one one nine eight zero six seven one six nine seven nine eight. Go there, and then you're gonna wanna look for the save file that you want to mod. In my case, it is my save zero 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 eight, which is my Gunzerker. Just hit open, and it'll open it up. So as you can see here, you can change the name of your character. So like, if I don't like Inception Deception, I'll change it to like clubbed thumb gaming and then you can change your level and so as you can see here if I change my level it'll change the amount of experience points accordingly so you don't really have to worry about this part you can change how many golden keys you have um, change your playthrough play time so you can like reset this to like you haven't played for anything and then here you can change your money um, a lot of people don't know how to do this because they're like, it's not working. Well, all you have to do is you click on it, so say you want to have gold, and then you hit enter, and then you can just change the value. So the max amount you can set it to is just 9, 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Iridium is 500, Serif is 999, and don't worry about these currencies, Um, just ignore them. And then Torg is 999. Then here you can change your black market upgrades. It says 0 to 7, but if you want it to be a really big cheater, you can actually change it to like 20, and it'll give you like, you can have hold like 9,000 bullets in your assault rifle. It's crazy, but you don't really need that, so I just set them all to 7, and then the backpack is 9, and the bank is 9. Then if you go to skills, you can change how good your, how good your, um, your skills are so I already have these m maxed out so I don't have to change them if you wanted to like say you had only one point and last longer you could change it to five so it's pretty simple there also again to change it just hit enter in stats um there's just like how many critical hits you've got in blah 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 basic stuff now comes for the good part the weapons um this is actually the worst, and I repeat, it's really bad at getting weapons into your game. The reason I say this is because, let me, let me show you, if, if I add a weapon, add a weapon, okay, remove one. The, you can't even type in the code, and I think that's really dumb, but... Oh well, so you can, you have to, you, but it's good in another way because you can customize all of your weapons to your liking. So Malawan, just select random things if you want to go, like, I don't even care anymore. You just sort of learn. Um, shock. And... You can just sort of choose that stuff. Then it'll give you a random weapon name, depending on what you chose. So I got the Kluke Fremingdens and Edge. I don't know. Don't really want that, though. Anyways, these weapons I got legit. Um, you can probably just find someone online who's modding save files with Gibbs, which is much better. It's for Windows only, though. That's the problem. And then you can just tell them if you want some modding. So these I got legit. Then items, same thing, except these are just like your grenade mods. Anything other than guns is in there. This is your bank. Pretty simple, same thing. And then here is the uh, missions. So what you can do is you can quickly complete everything. So yeah, it's pretty simple. 
And so if you want to, like, say you want to redo X marks a spot, which is, uh, oh. That was not good. No, I'll just undo. I don't know what that said before, but I'm pretty sure that's what it said. But then you can go to, like, X marks a spot. Then you can say required objectives complete or something like that. So that then you can redo it, you know. And so, yeah, anyway, that's how you mod it, then just save. And you should be good to go. So thank you for watching, everyone. P if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe. Goodbye.